Well, would you be willing to... Did you tell him yet? Hi, Andy. So, guys, are we going to be your roommates? What? Why would he even want to do this? It was his idea. He thinks you're cool. <laughs> what? No, he doesn't. Oh, sure. He's always talking about his cool big brother who moved to the city to be a cartoonist. But I'm not a cartoonist yet. I just sell water beds. Does he really think I'm cool? Yes. Ah, so this is Mission Hill. Don't get excited. It doesn't have anything you would like. Well, it looks very colorful. I think it's important to embrace as many ideas and cultures as one can. Oh, a female roommate. Uh, <laughs> I've never lived with a girl before, but I assure you, I am a perfect gentleman. Yes, I can tell by your inner light that you're a good person. Uh, excuse me, could you tell me where room 410 is? I think it's in my pants, man. Why don't you take a look? I'm pretty sure it's not there. The four indicates it's on the fourth floor, and... You're whack, man. Oh, okay. Have a good time at this ski tournament. <laughs> Excuse me, were you asking about room 410? Because I'm on my way to 410. Oh, thanks. I'm Kevin. This is my first day. Uh, I'm picking up something with my obviometer, Captain. No, duh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> this is George. George has a girlfriend in Singapore. Ah, Singapore. At my old school, I told people I had a girlfriend in Canada because it's so far away no one could ever check. Is your Singapore girlfriend the same thing? It's a more believable ethnic variation. Stop bragging about your girlfriends! Ah, kicking back, eh? May I join you? Sure, have a seat. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've heard ska before. Do the Beatles do any ska? No, and neither does Scott Joplin or Gordon Lightfoot or any of your other faves. Well, if you like it, I'm sure it's interesting. May I come along? You're right. That's the first time you've ever said I was right about anything. That's the first time you've ever been right about anything. <laughs> but drinking shows a real commitment to becoming a cooler person. So will you buy me this? Sure, but that's olive oil. That's maple syrup. That's shampoo. Look. That is Kevin. Well, he's probably a little drunk. Forget about it. I'd feel better if I could just check. Cougar Geiger? Well, I do not feel better. Cougar Geiger. What's he saying? He's saying he's the Grubermeister. Do any of you have a problem with that? No, 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 no sir. Not at all. Good. Now I think it's time for you to leave. Hey, Andy, this apartment sure spins a lot. Yeah, it tends to do that after a good party. <coughs> I'm sorry for being so pathetic. Hey, cheer up. It's not everybody who can outdo Sid Vicious. Here you go. Is everything okay? Yeah, he just got a little carried away is all. It runs in the family. Every time somebody put down a cup, your dog ran up and drank it. Well, I, I better get going. See you tomorrow. Well, I guess my experiment in being cool has failed miserably. So, are you gonna call it quits? It's too hard being like you. I don't know if I can do it. Maybe you'd be happier just being the old Kevin? Well, it's certainly the easy choice. Is the douchebag aspect going to be a problem? I can learn to live with it. Thanks. And, um, let's just try to forget about last night. Oh, God. At least Mom and Dad will never find out. Bling! Blong! 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 This meditation tape is awful. It's not soothing me at all. In fact, I'm beginning to grow infuriated. That's not your tape, Posey. It's Kevin. He's been doing that since he was a kid. He uses it to drown out distractions. I, I should have mentioned it to you when he moved in. Bling, bling, blong, blong, blong a bling, blong a bling, bling, You can't bling, stop blong, him. Blong, blong, Watch. Bling, blong, Yo, Pac-Man, how's it hanging? Bling it a bling it a blong, blong, bling it a bling it a blong, blong. Kevin, Hitler's on the phone. He wants his hair cut back. Your turn. I'm a leaf in the wind. 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 I'm a leaf in
What was it you wanted? Nothing. Nothing. Hey, what are you doing? Geeking out? Or nerding it up? I wish! This is schoolwork. I have to write a paper on ocean ecosystems. You know, I was just reading an article about that. Maybe you could use it. Here. It's all about marine biology. Oh, that sounds perfect. Hmm. 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 <laughs> what? There are women touching each other in this magazine. Really? Andy, that is pornography. Mom said that I should never look at stuff like that. What about the article? Just let me read you a few snippets. No! Topless deep sea fishing off the coast of Yucatan is no laughing matter. There's a warning on the cover, not for minors. I am a minor, Andy. I don't want to go to jail. And even if I weren't a minor, I wouldn't look at your filthy pornography. Because when I'm married and I'm kissing my wife, I don't want my head to be filled with perverted thoughts like yours. Perverted? Hey, if you want perverted, check this out. <laughs> okay, bling long, bling long, bling long, bling long, bling long. Justice League, Aquaman speaking. <laughs> oh, hi, George. It's impossible to concentrate around here. Have you tried bling blonging? Yeah, but my dad says it scares the customers. Call but, let me get that for you, champ. Why are you being so nice to me? I don't know. It, it's weird. I've thought about setting you on fire hundreds of times. Okay. And, well, then I heard sirens, and it's not for minors, Andy! Pornography is not for minors! I didn't want to get in trouble. <laughs> hey! Huh? Hmm? Yeah? What did I teach you about? Ah! Oh, God, no! Wait! They're innocent! I'm the one who burned down the store. <gasps> I was manipulating myself to pornography! <gasps> oh, I tried to... Hey, Andy, <laughs> sure you don't want to join us? We've got ginger snaps. Yes! I love you, Kevin! I love you! Really? Oh. You do? I'm going home. Yeah. Go on, get out of here, loser. Kevin, wh wh why are you calling me here? Just reminding you of our movie date tonight. What are you talking about? Oh, crap. Hey, everybody! Andy has movie date with some guy! Smoochy, smoochy! Sure, tonight, whatever. Look, don't call me here again. Okay, I love you. So I can get into a good college where I can play hoops at. I guarantee you a perfect score. All you'll have to do is spell your name right. Uh oh. And I'll tutor you on that. Deal. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Uh. Is too unanimous as repudiation is too <laughs> bling is to blong as blangity bling is to blingity blang. No blong! No bling! Hey, Kev, you want some spaghetti? Andy offers Kevin spaghetti at nine. If Kevin is seven years older than pudding, how many liters of Andy does it take to get to Denver? There's a uh, Parmesan cheese in the refrigerator. Bling blong, bling blong. Bling-blong, 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 bingo! Gwen, watch this. <laughs> okay, why is that funny? Uh, because she's touching the meat? No, it is a satire of people who say Kafkaesque when a situation is not Kafkaesque. Well, it would be funnier if the caption said, Please, no meat touching, ma'am. <laughs> mm -hmm. Andy, get ready to purr with excitement. Cat Fancier Magazine is on the phone. Huh? What you need is inspiration. Here, I'll do something funny and you draw a cartoon of it. Let me know when you're done. <laughs> Andy and that woman kept me up all night. Me too. Does sex always sound like that? No, they must be doing something wrong. She told me I'd never go anywhere with breasts this small. What do you think? <laughs> Terrific. I, I love it. You have no idea what that cartoon is about, do you? Well, no, not really. But <laughs> I know it's great because you're great, Andy. You're the most talented person I know. Listen to me, Kevin. I am not talented, and my cartoons are not great. They suck. I 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 suck. You're just going through a rough period. Now put down the imaginary knife before you pretend to hurt yourself. Ah, feeling blue, eh? 
Well, we could balance the checkbook together. That's always a funk buster for me. $42, Cosmopolis Power. Check cleared. Bling, blong. $17, Mission Hill Market. Check cleared. Bling, blong. Specialism. Oh, dear. This special is a dog suit special. Uh, excuse me, do you know where I can get racing gasoline of a specialized quality? Andy, I feel guilty. I really ought to go tell Ron what happened. Well, if it'd make you feel better. Workers of the world, get off my couch. It's not your couch. Suit yourself. <laughs> Don't project your frustration with your sorry, lazy life on me. I'm not frustrated, Kevin. I love my sorry, lazy life. How can you possibly? You sleep all day, you eat nothing but junk food, you haven't drawn a cartoon in weeks, and your hair isn't even clean. Ah, how can you even function with dirty hair? <laughs> you don't even know what your best friend does? You are so selfish, Andy. Jim works at an advertising agency. How on earth did you know that? Because I am not a self-absorbed slacker. I am actually interested in the people around me. I bet you don't even know what classes I'm taking. Quick, what color are my eyes? Blue. Very impressive. What's my middle name? Uh, oh, it's like uh, Richard or, or, or Robert. It's something with an R. Uh, Steven. Not even close. Where's your tie? You won't look professional without a tie. Hmm. Well, once again, you are lucky I moved in. How about this one, hmm? I got it made at the mall. Perhaps I could just wear a sign that says, I am a douchebag. This one looks normal. You must have bought it by mistake. Oh, perfect. Hey, when's Andy coming back? Uh, probably not for a few hours. Oh, then how about you? You want to go up on the roof and get toasted? Um, I'm not much of a toaster, but thanks anyway. Uh, would you like to take a look at my new game? Yes. My answer would have to be yes. You start the game as a Viking warrior. Well, I for one cannot believe you'd rather bury your nose in that darn computer than go to a dance and meet some nice girls. I hate dances, okay? Girls don't like me, no one will dance with me, so I'm not going. The end. I just think it's important for a young man's development... Look, I've got more important things to do than obsess over women. Hey, my concubines are here. Mm. What, what if I find you a date? If I find you a date, will you go? Sure, whatever. Beat it. Beat it? Come on, I'm busting my ass for you and I deserve some respect. Would you talk to mom and dad like that? No, but you would. Hmm, good point. Ow, Andy, it hurts to walk. What do you want me to do about it? Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm being nice to you and no one's around to appreciate it. I appreciate it. <sighs> <gasps> Private, do not open. Well, I guess I should just put it back then. <clears throat> Mom, Andy has a box that says private, do not open. May I have permission to open it? Oh. Oh my, please tell me Andy didn't make a complete fool out of himself. Okay, but I'd be lying. This is so unfair. I can't believe my friends are taking such joy in my suffering and humiliation. Well, you know, Andy, everybody hurts. Sometimes and everybody cries and everybody hurts. Sometimes and everybody hurts. Sometimes so hold on. Question? Hmm. Will Kevin French ever get laid? Har, har. If you're through with the trouser talk, I'm busy learning. Kevin, honestly, you're 17. How are you ever going to meet girls if you go around learning all the time? The kind of girls who want me will know how to find me. I hate to break it to you, but those girls looking to meet you on the internet aren't always girls. <sighs> I believe I have homework to do. I, I 
just think we have a lot in common, that's all. We're kind of the same. Uh, it's opposites that attract, remember? Coulomb's law, elementary physics. Uh, but the scientific method teaches us to strictly observe the facts. And the fact is, neither one of us is quite homecoming court material. <laughs> But I think you're cute and uh, interesting, and uh, I, I hope you'll give me a chance. Will you? You mean a, a chance of the date classification? Species evening outicus. <laughs> uh, dinner, perhaps? Mm. You're on, Chimpy. Boy, howdy. You wanted a recommendation so bad you pretended to like me, huh? <sighs> yes, and I'm completely ashamed. You don't seem very angry. Nah, I never liked you either. You didn't? No, I just went out with you to make Daddy happy. He was always pressuring me to meet boys. So I figured, why not go out with Giko? Giko? That's what all the girls at school call you. Like you didn't know. Ah, uh, come on, Chimpy. You got what you wanted. Quit complaining. No! I mean, yes, I wanted the letter, but that was before I realized how brilliant and adventurous and wonderful you are. And he was right all along. You're perfect for me. I don't want the letter anymore. I want you, Eunice. Well, people in hell want ice water. Have tons of fun with your letter. See you around, water balloon. the fact that we're different? Like Mom always said, it takes all kinds of fruits to make Fruit Cup. We could all learn a lot from Fruit Cup. What a beautiful... Yes, fine. Now, please, I have important news to digest. Oh, no. Oh, God. Any student who feels that she or he needs to be with loved ones may be excused for the day. Now I'll answer any questions you might... What? Should we really be wasting money on compound raids and celebrity airlifts? Oh, did you see that footage? Ooh, wasn't it marvelous? Those Black Hawk helicopters are incredible. I know. And the infrared shots from those Sidewinder missiles? <gasps> Ooh, boom! And he's handcuffed to a what? Where did you say Andy was? <laughs> I don't know, but he didn't stand you up. He really, really likes you. Oh, this is all my fault. See, we were fighting all day when we should have been making fruit cup and... <laughs> what? Oh, it's just a saying my mom used to have, you know. Now she used to make to it present fruit the award up. for best pop song by the offspring of a rock legend. Bling a blong a to me. Bling a blong a to me. Uh. Oh. He's a blongy good fellow, which nobody can bling blong. <sighs> birthday boy, birthday boy, last chance to greet the birthday boy. You smashed my porch. That is a fine, expensive porch. Pay me. Hey, pay me, yuppie man. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you. <clears throat> Whew, crazy world, huh? Well, don't let it get you down, son. I. Penis, 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 penis. <laughs> My fake ID and... Dun, 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 dun. Greetings, royal subjects. Oh, what's going on? May I come in? What's that you're holding, Andy? Get out of my room, D-bag. Kevin, there you are. It's time to cut the cake, sugar bunny. Andy, I need you to set up the slip and slide now. Mom, what do drugs smell like? <laughs> hey there, birthday boy. Look what I've got for you. A little cake. Crappy birthday. Oh, a cake. Great. And a present. What's a birthday without a present, huh, Kevin? TV word find. Super TV word find. See? Hours of fun. Great. What's the matter with you? You're not being snotty, you're not threatening to call mom, nothing. I'm sorry. You know, you take a lot of fun out of torturing you when you don't react properly. 
I know. Uh, all right. What's the matter? It's just that back in Briarhurst, my birthday was the best day of the whole year. But here in the city, everything is different. And my birthday sucks. Can I open my eyes now? No, I'm naked. Now, what does that say about you? I, uh... Surprise! Surprise! Home? Yeah. Mm. Birthday cake? I got it at the same supermarket Mom and Dad always used to get mine. Super Pig on FDR Parkway. It's Ronald Reagan Parkway now. <sighs> this cake isn't as good as I remember. Nothing out here is as good as I remember. Not even home. Well, you've got a new home now anyway. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Drinking liquor in the house, eh? <laughs> what would Mom and Dad say? <laughs> Who cares? They're not around to say anything. <laughs> How many times did Dad bust me for this, huh? <laughs> no TV for a week, young man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what next? Shall we slam the door, waste water, put our feet on the coffee table? Small potatoes, my friend. I want you to pick the one thing you would never, ever do in this house when Mom and Dad were here. Masturbation excluded, because I already know you're a pro. Hmm. Well, there is one thing. Uh, are you sure? All right. Here goes. <gasps> Bite me, Mother! Freeze! Oh, God. I knew this was a bad idea. Please don't call our parents. I'll clean the shower. I'll pay the electric bill. I didn't mean to swear. I didn't mean to swear. <laughs> Two birthday parties in one night. Think you can handle it? Mom and Dad never did that for me. Thanks. Hey, Mr. Bager Biger's back. Mr. Bager Biger? Nothing. It's a stupid story. You don't want to hear it. <laughs> sure you do. See, this dude was totally out of control. One night, he drank so much, he could hardly speak. He started flipping around on the floor like a fish, man. He crawled over, started eating out in the dog bowl, and he burped. He's like, uh, Bager Biger, Bager Biger. And the name's just kind of stuck, you know? A bling, blong, bling, a blong, a bling, blong, blong, a bling, blong, bling, a bling. Right here in our own neighborhood. Tisk, tisk. Smut. The shame of it. Shame. Filth. Nothing but lewd, perverted filth. <coughs> uh, one adult, please, <coughs> for the X rated movie. <laughs> Uh, yes. I'd like a bucket of cop porn. Uh, no, I, never mind. Just some good in panties. Uh, wait! Uh, no, I... So Wally's an expert in lace cinema, eh? Go figure. You didn't know? I can't believe you've been Gus and Wally's neighbors all this time, and you barely know anything about them. Not true. I know they wake up at 8 o'clock every morning, Wally brews coffee while Gus reads the funnies to him. Isn't it sweet? And then they shower together and sing college fight songs. Then they either argue or have gay sex, and then it's off to work. Hmm. Wally, I can't believe you never told me you directed a movie. I sure hope we can see it together when it plays next week. No, I won't. I, I can't. I Hi, Beardo. This is just my little brother. He's a movie nut like you. Uh, yes, but I'm only interested in the, uh, classics. <laughs> I came to ask about a classic non-perverted film, The Man from Pluto by Walter L. Ford. You've been working really hard on this, Kevin. You and Wally must be pretty good friends. Well, we have been going to a lot of X-rated movies together. <laughs> Lordy, what was I thinking? Maybe you were thinking about how far you'd go for Gus. You're the one who taught me that all great movies have a personal vision. Wally, this whole movie is your valentine to Gus. It couldn't be any more personal. Oh, that still doesn't make it great. I'm not so sure. Thank you, Kevin. I owe you one. So, you're not mad at me anymore? Are we still friends? Sure. 
we're as close as an elderly gay man and a straight teenage boy can be. Well, good night. Hey, we can't keep Why don't it. we revive the lost art of conversation? Anybody read Aquaman issue number 428? Why do you keep doing that? I'm just trying to find activities that we can all enjoy together, like car games. Potticelli is my favorite because it's both intellectually challenging and <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Who wants to play, huh? Hey, why is everyone so grumpy? Ah, Bill Oakley, Josh Weinstein production. Ah!